Hello and welcome to episode 54 of Leaf Blower Revolution. If we keep going like this, we're gonna catch up to Idol Slayer with 60 episodes. I'm showing Leaf Sanction because somebody told me it was a good idea to keep my Leaf Sanction at level 1. But we're going to have to increase that because there's a new boss we want to fight called Spark Bubble, which is the title of this video. That's the latest update that just came out, forgot the number, one of many, and I expected this update, that's why I made the Leaf Sanction episode as fast as I could, and I wanted to make this video as fast as I could also, this is in fact one play session, it took me 25 minutes, I cut about 7 minutes. So let's take a look, we have an electric shop now, and we can store more electrical energy, increase the charging value, and increase the number of relics we have and increase relic damage and of course I'm gonna have to check if I have enough damage I already knew I had decent damage or pretty good damage but was it enough we're gonna find out but any damage source I can find is really good and if you look at the bottom part there's two arrows it's probably a converter which I don't have access to so to have access to this area I need 1.2 E3 energy so we're going to go in the spark range right there and just sit there and get enough energy. Now we're going to look at pets. There's a pet I forgot to show you is the Camelo that a previous update and it has to do with chest on chance and uh, enchant leave reward, which is useless to us now, but in seasons it could be useful. I don't know. So many things were added, I'm not too sure what strategy I'm going to use in Seasons. By the way, speaking of it, Seasons, they added Guilds. I don't know how I feel about that, I don't want to judge it too fast. By the way, crafting, this is very interesting because they show you what you can have on each type of uh, crafted leaf, which is really nice, instead of having to go on Discord. Yeah, regarding Guilds, so if you're part of a good Guild, it gives you an advantage. If your guild is bad, you have no chance of doing well. So I don't know which impact guilds will have. That's just an assumption. I don't know if it's that bad, but I hope it's going to be a, a positive thing, you know. But I had doubts when I saw that. And I want this game to be turned into an MMO RPG or something like that, you know. Anyways, 2.18 E56. Regarding guilds, by the way, we'll see in season five. I don't want to judge too fast. Maybe it's awesome. Maybe it's great. Uh, these are uh, all the types of enemies. Apparently, there's damage type. So I would assume this is maybe not fully developed, but I guess based on the um, leaves that I have, I will do different amount of damage on certain types of enemies. They all seem to be regular, so I'm not aware. I don't understand how uh, enemy type work yet. And I'm not even sure it's fully implemented based on what I read. Maybe I'm wrong. Please let me know in the comments. I'm gonna add a few floors here. Just This is from time I spent in the pub on the slot machine. And do I have enough energy now to go try this boss? I guess I decided that I wanted more storage. And... Uh, 1% damage for 1,000 energy, so I will only have 1 or 2%, I think I'm going to reach 2,000 energy in this video, so that's only 2% more damage from my relics. So I'm doing a little bit of clicking around, I removed most of it, as I said, there was, it was a 25 minute session. Decided to try Pyramid Floor 150, because my damage increased since last episode. There's less enemies now. And there's other things you can buy, I think, to reduce the number of enemies further. We'll look at that a bit later in the video. So let's see if we can beat it and what it's going to give us in the milestones. And then 155 will be the last milestone after that. Yeah, we can beat it. But I don't one-shot the boss, which means I cannot cannot beat floor 155 yet and it gives me 
two extra shards. That would mean we're now at 17 for each leaves. So I'll take the opportunity to improve my DPS leaf set. So I was clicking around as one of the parts are removed. This is fast forward where I just add some damage, either slap or blower damage, whatever space I have. Try to concentrate on slap a little more. It's not evenly distributed when I make new leaves. Next episode, by the way, will be fusion, transformation, whatever. We're going to look at new leaves. Now I got 3.22 E56. So do I decide that's enough or do I go get more damage? I forgot. I decided to try. Let's try the boss for the first time. See how it goes. Now I just unlocked the zone. I didn't realize that. I got to get there. Teleport. And let's see what this boss is about. So this is the first boss that moves around. And I do decent damage on it. All I need to do is increase it a little bit. And I'll do just fine. But to be able to sit there and farm this area AFK. I will have to pretty much one. Maybe not one shot that boss. But my DPS will have to be much 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 higher. I don't know what it gives to just sit there. And uh, AFK farm this boss. But. Our goal is just to beat it for this episode and see where it leads us. So what I did is a little bit of descension, as you can see here. Okay. And I kept doing that. Another thing I did is I made some uh, essence to upgrade one of my pet. I think the fish. I think it's, no, no, not the fish. Uh, the lowest one is the owl. Yeah, the owl. So I upgraded it a little bit. Anything to get a little more damage. I don't need that much more. I'm getting decent amount of uh, mats now. Focus tool. We're gonna max this up. Uh, well, buy max. Big difference. I gained what 34 levels. I'll show you why I chose tools and one buy max blindly. Because my tools all contribute to my damage at all times, and they're pretty high level. Look, look at my nuclear trout, 123 out of, 124 out of 125. So I'm going to upgrade whatever I can with the mats I got from the dark glade, me sitting there. Oh, it's pretty good. It's going to increase our DPS a little bit. That's all I need, a little nudge and we're all good. Okay, next. Well, next we're gonna look at maybe uh, was it unique leaves? I don't have enough to really upgrade my unique leaves all that much, but I think I'm going to upgrade it a bit later. So here I don't have enough for any of this, and I'm starting to wonder how I'm going to be able to increase any of those. So this is leaf sanction. I'm just showing you. Three point seventy four million percent increase damage. Not bad, isn't it? So anything that's 10 relics for rare, I uh, leave send them to level 3. Okay. And I did leave sanction to level 2 a fair amount, but not all of it. Okay. Now, another thing. I'm going to go as high as we can. It's 273,000 now. I'm going to use this upgrade that we bought where we can use blazing skulls. Why? To get equipment. So I'm going to try out. You can see in the background how much equipment I get. Okay, it's a bit hard to see. But it does say eight times every time I pick up something. Then I try auto, uh, auto use artifacts, but it's too slow. Look how slow it is. 723, 723, come on. See, it's pretty slow. So uh, it's better if I click like this or maybe use an auto clicker with one click per second or something, which I won't do in this uh, video, or maybe I'll do it. I wouldn't use auto clicker in the season, but playing alone, maybe I will, I don't know. So I won't sit there, click use, 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 use. Or maybe I could leave it like this, and but it would take a long time to get rid of 44,000 blazing skulls. But it's going to increase my damage 
and uh, 1.71 E8. We're gonna look at we're gonna look at it with normal numbers. But let's take a look at my DPS first, and then I'm gonna switch the notation notation that I like, so I can understand better. Let's switch to our DPS set, and I got 4.47 E56. Do you think that's enough to kill that boss? We'll see. Then I'm gonna switch to my normal notation. The one with the letters, so we can take a easy look. 170 million curses, but I've seen people in the billions of curses on Discord, so it's not that impressive compared to many people. But look at these numbers, I have so many pieces of equipment after 5,000 and how many? 5,700 hours or something? <laughs> I don't even know. But let's try to beat this boss and look at that. I do just enough damage to kill it. See, I do more damage than I receive. Obviously, I would get one shot. That's one thing I find a bit disappointing is always glass cannon. You cannot be tanky or anything, but maybe they'll change things later on. Anyways, this boss is dead. Gave me 196 shards or 96 shards, sorry. I don't know if it can give me anything else and it does drain my uh, energy also. So Spark Portal, super excited about this. Because a new uh, a new side of the game in reality, but then look at that fifty thousand energy, and then uh, the rest doesn't intimidate me. It's just the fifty thousand energy. I don't understand how I can get it else than maybe with better crafted leaves. I don't know. That's because um, I'm gonna try to show it. In fact, not to show it. I was trying to look at it. I so said there's something wrong here and the next step for me is to make amazing leaves so we got a flamingo the flamingo okay but it just um, increases how much energy I get maximum I can store is uh, two point something thousand so I cannot buy any of this and then I, I was checking which leaf is the hematite leaf I'm just going to look but so maybe hematite leaves that are crafted can give you extra energy because there is a maximum look. Level 20 is maximum and only gives me 20 more electrical energy. I need 50,000, 50,000. So I'm missing something here. There's also a converter, right? So I, I thought, hey, there's a converter also. So we're going to look at this in a moment. I'll equip probably the flamingo for the first time. Flamingo. Flamingo? Flamingo? Whatever. Oh, I should have sped up that part, sorry about that. Also, yes, there is the unique leaf that increases how much energy I get or something like this, but I don't think leveling it up will uh, give me more maximum storage. It's all about maximum storage and I barely have enough essence, so I'll just upgrade it a little bit, but it doesn't see it doesn't seem to do anything else and give me more blower and enemy damage. So uh that's no good. I was trying to find a solution here, but I'm gonna have to stop avoiding it and and start making better leaves, that's for sure. But is that the answer? I don't know. I can look it up, I don't know, doesn't matter, I do have to make those leaves, so next episode will be about that, will be about uh, transformation, fusion, whatever that is, and we'll make better leaves. So less pyramid enemies, I was talking about that, right, so it's in uh, the ancient, ancient shop, I'm trying to find anything else that I can buy that's new, here there's nothing else I can get, I think, no. We already went there earlier in the video. And then... Safe energy converters. I said, yes, 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 converters, as I said earlier. Converters. Question is, though, how do I have access to converters? So I was super hopeful when I bought this. I'm going to scroll down and look at other things, see if there's anything new. Is there anything new I can buy with my 42,000 gems? 
again not to fuse I don't want to touch that and then once again yes pyramid enemies okay that was fairly expensive wasn't it I'm down to 38,000 but it's not too hard look I don't have access to it if I could get energy converter it would be perfect but I don't have access to it I don't know how to have access to it see it doesn't exist so I don't know what to do So, our craft leaves, my maximum is 2.03k, so I cannot buy anything, I'm stuck, so, yeah, I can buy a, a little bit here, but that's only 6 times 20, so 120 more storage, it's pathetic. So, uh, we're gonna make new leaves next episode, and try to understand fusion and transformation after all this time. Was there anything else? I should be done here, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna go in the house and there's something I wanted to look for is the sacred leaf. So, not that it matters all that much, but I couldn't find the sacred leaf here. But whatever. So, that's what I got for you. Next episode will be about crafting. I don't know when it's going to be. I would like this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.